Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Illinois has been hitting on all cylinders the last few games. They've ripped off a string of Ws, trying to extend that streak. But the key is keeping Big Mo on your side. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. It's a fight for supremacy in the land of Lincoln today as these two bitter foes get set to take the field. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Illinois has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Fielded at the four. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Final game for these seniors on their home field. Some will get to the next level and play some more football. Others, they'll be putting the helmet on for the final time. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He might have a chance. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. To the right and tackled immediately. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Scrambling around. Brought down at about the 47-yard line. He got three yards there on the scramble. He's on the run. Good yardage there on the scramble. Well, you have to credit the quarterback here. He's not the most fleet-footed guy on the field, but notice how he has the awareness and the composure to know when to tuck it and go. And as a result, he comes up with a big play. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. It's second and 11. Ball on the 46. And he's taken down around the 32-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. the ninth play of the drive. Ready. Ready. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. I like the idea here by the quarterback looking downfield and eventually finding the check down to the running back. The running back has got to be able to hold on to that football to be able to pick up some yards. Thompson is waiting for the snap. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. 
The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. forward to about the 30 and the short gain is enough for the first and that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker he's to the 40 he makes his way to about the 42 i like how efficient the offense looked on that play everybody knew their assignment and it all came together for a nice run He's at the 40. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Makes the catch and look out. And they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Caught open field. He's knocked out of bounds at the 19. Gets out to around the nine. Zips it to the tight end. Touchdown, Illinois! He was looking at the tight end the whole way there. Yeah, the quarterback has to be careful of telegraphing the throw, but hey, it worked. They scored anyway. He makes the PAT, a nine-play, 80-yard drive, and the result, seven points. An amazing drive for this offense, outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. So the score now, 7-0. Jacobs from the seven. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Illinois is in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tackle at about the 43-yard line. That's a team of 13 on the Quick throw, almost intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Incomplete. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. Quick throw, and down he goes around the 48-yard line. Freeman gains about five yards on the play.
Parrish, the return man. Gets to about the 24-yard line. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Illinois is up by a touchdown. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 30-yard line. Zips it to the back. He's taken down at the 37. He's got space to work, and he's tackled at the 47-yard line. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 7-0, Illinois. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Makes it out to about the 33. And he's stopped behind the line. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. Illinois is up a score. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. That'll bring up 36. across the middle. Nice play to set up first and goal. So a 10-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Haley, ready to kick. Jacobs fields it at the seven, and he's tackled at the 26. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things change in a big way before halftime. Takes it left side, and he's brought down to the backfield.
from their own 24 yard line. Second down. about the challenges these two teams are facing on one side you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead and on the other side you've got to find a way to get back in it Waller gets the carry he's at midfield he makes his way to about the 45 So the sack makes this a second and long. Roger, Roger. They come out in an empty backfield. He's wrapped up for the sack. That is a loss of seven on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Let's go, Mike 50. Mike 50. They'll go with the run once again. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Murphy awaits the snap. Jacobs fields at the 29. Tackle made the 39-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Now he's scrambling. Davis gets six yards after taking it himself. Scrambling. Fumble. It's scooped up. And he hits him hard at the 47. They work hard and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From their own 47-yard line, second down. Scramble. He gets sacked on the play. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. 
That'll bring up fourth and one. And a perfect just kicked down inside the 10. He dropped it. Illinois has done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, partner. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense that they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So it's still a lot of football to be played. Big play, and it's first and goal. Illinois will take their first time out of the half. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. McDonald breaks up the pass. That brings him second and goal. Good protection, and now he's on the run. There he goes. Decides to slide. Grigsby gains around three yards on the scramble. Illinois is going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the four-yard line, it's third down. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Mustangs entered today's game ranked 20th, knowing they had to win to stay in the top 25. The Mustangs have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown. Underwood's game is solid. He has a touchdown catch. The Mustangs are on top, 7-0. Middle of the first quarter. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. 17 to nothing, Illinois. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This halftime lead is much larger than any of us anticipated, and now the challenge becomes to maintain it and try to make sure that you don't let the other guy get up off the deck. Yeah, I think they're probably as surprised as we are because we thought it was going to be very competitive, but don't sleep on them yet. It's not over. This is still a really good ball club, and I think you got to make sure that you understand that they're, they're, they're even with you most of the time. You just had a big first half. They can have a big second half. So you make sure you come out in the second half. You execute. You try not to make mistakes. But don't sleep on those guys over on the other side. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astral turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Play action. He'll scramble. Here's the give. And they make the stop at the 34. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. Yeah. 
Defense coming and the ball comes out. Scoops up the loose ball. Tackle at the 27-yard line. And they couldn't have asked for a better time for the turnover, right, Herbie? Well, I'm sure they could have used a couple of these earlier in the game, but better late than never. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's on the run. They'll bring him down around the 15-yard line. Tackle made at the 18-yard line. That brings up second and 15. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Well, we've got a new man calling signals now. Let's see if he can do any better than the starter. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Complete, but he's wrapped up and he won't get it. Leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Catches it, and that's all. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. not get to the first down marker. That's a game of two on the play. That'll make it fourth and two. Murphy to punt. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Well, this defense has got to be proud of what they've been able to do in this football game so far. Love to see the goose eggs up there for this defense. And the way their offense is playing, this game is really together for this team. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's taken down at about the 49. Gets 
gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's knocked down about the 40-yard line. That'll make it third and one. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. First down. And he's tackled at the 36. He's going left. That close to being intercepted. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. They go with a screen incomplete. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He heaves it deep. Almost picked off. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Trip that ball. Mike 50, Mike Set. 50. Woo, 80. Woo, That makes it second and 10. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Zips it to the back, and he's left 46 yard line. That's three down and one to go. Illinois' lead is 17. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He's pushed out of bounds at the 40. Scrambling around, and he's going to come up with a sack. That makes it second and 14. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Got a man, watch out here. Brought down around the 25 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Brought 
play, and the defense was ready for it. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. It's second and 13. Ball on the 28-yard line. Bounds at about the 27 yard line. Waller hits it on the inside. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That makes it fourth and four. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. It's up, and he got it. Haley gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the six. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Coming to you, coming to you. He's going to try and scramble. He's at midfield. Tackle at the 46. And here comes a backup quarterback into the game now. Strike to his receiver. No good. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 46. Just under three to go in regulation. And he hits him hard at the 47-yard line. yard line that's a big break for this defense you know this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover buck they need to hold on to the football both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead this defense has really got to step it up and make a stop Here's the give. Gets out to around the 38. Call the game at eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. He's out. Gives it to the back. He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. Run. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Under a minute left. Makes it to the 21. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 20 to nothing, Illinois. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.